So let's say I search JS search npm. So you click on this. So you can see this is the library, right? And this has got all of the information how to use it. Uh, you can also go on to the Gatsby for this JS search Gatsby. I think Gatsby should have yes, this one right here. Okay, so if you see what is JS search, it's a library uh, created by some, you know a member of core team of Facebook, which means pretty reliable. Okay, and it provides efficient way of to search data for client with JavaScript and JSON object. So we give access to the data in form of JSON objects and then it performs the search using JavaScript. You could write, in fact, you could write those codes uh, yourself as well. But if I, I would prefer to use a library in case if it's available and I can see it's recommended, it's available, uh, you know, in documentation of Gatsby. So I would, I would rather prefer that, right? Okay. And it also needs the Axios, I believe. Okay. So if you haven't already installed that, then you can install it. Okay, uh, and this is how it is. So it gives you example of how uh, you know you need to create your component, uh, what type of data you're going to get. So all of the information is present here. So we're just going to implement this itself. See, index strategy. So it asks you to pass this in context. So let's compare it with our code. So we have like post search data, they have uh, the book data, then I have all posts, they have all books. Similarly for options, they have index strategy as prefix match, lowercase. So those are some of the options. If you want to title by index, yes, I want to do that. Do you want to title by author? Yes, I want to do that. And then do you, I'm also, uh, you know, going ahead and using category index and search by term so they don't have the category index and that's the reason why we created this category we push the category into the data so we can use this as additional in fact this is something they explain on their github repository so if you go on to their github repo <coughs> uh, if you go in over here then they have explained like if you want to add something new like for example tag you can add like this anything that you want to add new you can you can do that so they've explained this here so we're just going to implement the same thing okay awesome enough of uh, you know giving information about this i think we need the axios as well i believe so uh do we let me just check Actually, we don't need Axios in, in our case. The reason for this is because we are anyways passing the data. They are using the Axios to uh, fetch the data from GitHub but io, dot io, but we don't really need it. Uh, we are already passing the data that it needs, right? Okay, awesome. So this has already been installed. Let's just clear it and then just run npm run. npm run dev. <coughs> And I think we have passed all of the information that we needed. We don't have anything else, I believe. So let's just run and wait. Okay, so it's spinning up on a local host port 8000. And I just want to share with you that ensure that if you're creating any custom page like this one, uh, my home page is a custom page. Uh, make sure that you go to the pages in create pages and ensure that you pass that as custom template so that whenever all the pages are created it should check that those custom templates should not be included in the standard pages otherwise even for those custom uh, template or custom page it's going to use the same single page template we don't want to do that we want to use a custom template for that that's why it's not going to create those pages once we add them here okay I'd like to explain in the previous video all right awesome so what we'll do now is okay at this point there's one more thing I want to share with you how it works is that 
uh, Gatsby is going to look for uh, Gatsby is going to automatically create a route uh, for anything that you put inside of the pages so if you put it here it's automatically going to pick up that right so let's go to port 8000 okay so is what so for example if you create about.js it that whatever you put whatever component is going to render in about.js file will be available at slash about.js so what we can do is we can just get rid of this we don't really need it okay awesome now what we want to do is like we discussed in the previous video that all of this data will be available in the page context inside of props into our template so if I just pull props over here and then if I just console props so we probably need to clear the cache so we'll do npm run clean it's gonna clean the cache and then just rerun it pm run dev so now it's showing perfect so just to tell you that you know Gatsby creates all of these pages over here in inside of you can see that it's got about child one all of that so it had that uh, index page earlier which was being served from the pages and then since we deleted that page we had to clear the cache okay awesome uh, great so now if you do an inspect element I should be able to get that in, in props so let's take a look so you can see we've got page context over here and we've got the page so we've got the front page meta we've got the banner information and that's what we query for then we've got the featured post selection we've got search section uh, so in the search section we have the taxonomy so I just said that I was going to show you the shape of the data so this is the shape of the data so we've got taxonomies we've got taxonomy icon 1 and 3 right uh, and this one post search data this is all the posts that we have on the site okay uh, you could do the live query. I, I would recommend that in case if your site has got like lots and lots of posts, then probably in that case, this offline search. Because uh, if you use this feature that I'm explaining now, you can have the offline search functionality. So, like if you go onto the site, you can see that I can query like this, right? And even since this is a PWA, it works offline as well. So the search functionality will work because we have got the offline data. But if your site has got lots and lots of posts, then probably you may want to switch it to an option of live search. Okay, so you can do that with Algolia or probably you can uh, just use Apollo client and make live queries to WordPress. WordPress. Okay. Awesome. So we have all the posts over here and then remember that we had pushed the categories inside of it as well. So you can see that it's got all of the categories over here and it's got categories data. You've got author name as well. So these are all the information that we need for JS search to work. Okay. And then inside of options, this is what we passed. So it's got all of that information. All right. And then we've got all of the posts available. So these are the three po latest posts that we're going to use and inside of the page we've got all of the information that we need okay great so front page meta you have banner section which is this section right here and then you have got the featured post sorry uh, the search section which is this and the data for search is available here in the post search data and then you have the featured post section which is this and then you have the latest post section so top three post you can see we are serving the top three post here okay great 
So since we've got the data now and uh, we've got all the information that we need, we are ready to go ahead and start working onto our component. Okay. So in the next video, we're going to start with that. So I hope you did like the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And I'm going to see that you in the next video. Uh, and uh, please give a star to my repository, uh, which is this Gatsby WordPress theme. And please do follow me on GitHub and Twitter as well. So my Twitter handle is Cody Tech. Please follow me on Twitter as well. So my Twitter handle is Cody Tech. Okay, awesome. So I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.